Hi, Martin here again. Now in the last video I'd done for you, I showed you how to do some basic on-page optimization for your website using a tool called Traffic Travis to check on the optimization. Now what I'd like to show you is where quite a lot of people get stuck. It is on how to do their keyword research. Again, loads and loads of different ways to do this. This is a basic way I'm going to show you now using the Google, the keyword tool, and also the free Traffic Travis tool I introduced you to in my last video. So let's carry on with the example which I was uh, using in the last, ex uh, uh, last video I've done with you with a website I created promoting a product called Easy Member Pro, which is a website management script for creating your own membership sites. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go to the Google keyword tool and I'm going to type in Easy Member Pro because I know that that's the keyword which I'm trying to target. Again, this can be a, a product I'm trying to promote on ClickBank or any, any sort of affiliate uh, website I want to create. Once you've filled the capture in, just press search. Okay, here we go. So again, all, all related to um, the, the, the actual main keyword I've put in, which is Easy Member Pro. Now, what I'm actually looking for here is sort of a competition, basically, to see what the other people are actually targeting with regards to this sort of keyword. So I'm looking at, at the moment, it probably gets a global search of 1,600 a month and uh, a local monthly search here in the UK of 170 searches a month. So I'm looking down, just having a quick flick through. Easy Member Pro Review, 12 people or 91 people a month. Uh, actually typing that in. So again, these are what I call dripping tap um, sort of websites I'm creating here. You're not really looking for massive following with regards to big numbers because, I mean, the big numbers are going to be well established and the chances are you're not going to get really in the first page. It's very easy to get into on the first page of Google with little competition there, as you can see, for the word Easy Member Pro for the product. And 170 people might not buy a lot, but if you're getting 170 people looking at your website, if you're at the first page of Google, uh, you can. Pro I, I look upon probably two people buying out of 100 realistically, and that's how I roughly look at uh, creating the site, and is it worth me creating it? So yeah, I mean, as below that is another keyword there, membership site software, very, very high competition, quite large search numbers uh, globally and also local in the UK here. But uh, it's, you're going to find it to get very, very hard to get ranked for that sort of keyword, for example. So by picking these smaller keywords with less competition, you've got much more chance of getting ranked. Okay, the, 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 the income is not going to be fantastic uh, and fast, but it's what I call a dripping tap uh, income. And if you've got many, many of these sites with keywords that are, are a lot lower in ranking, I mean, there's one, for example, membership script, which is a lot lower. Uh, medium competition there, but only 590 local people if I was targeting people in the UK. Easy Member Pro, A Member Pro, that's another website script as you can see. Again, low numbers, but the people who are on the first page of Google are getting these searches. These people are actually clicking on them and searching at the first, first page of Google, probably just to have a good look around. So that's where you want to be, and it's a lot easier to get targeted for these little, smaller numbers, basically. So anyway, so I looked at Easy Member Pro, as you know, and what I actually did then is once you've chosen your keywords, I might have chosen Easy Member Pro, uh, I, I chose Easy Member Pro Review, uh, I, I can't remember, there's a couple more. One, one other thing to remember is that every page, and this is why I create multiple page websites, if you want to get ranked in the search engines, the search engines like to see something which has got relevant content, more than one page, this is where you your sales letter type page, basically don't cut the mustard anymore with the search engines because they like to see multiple pages where there's different content on each page and obviously outside of the, the actual website as well, pages linking into the different pages. I, I basically like, or Google likes to see a privacy policy page, a contact us page, an about us page. These are like the, the industry standard now which Google is looking for in its algorithms to get you ranked. So if you're going to create the website, uh, whether it be a, a proper website, or even an affiliate website to promote an affiliate product, make sure you have them three pages, a privacy policy page, uh, an about us one, and maybe a contact us page as well, as your bare minimum with your one page on the, the like your, your, your index, your home index page as your main 
product page, for example, I tend to add another two to three pages of related keywords into these websites. So in, in total, I've got about six or seven pages to these websites, and that gives them credibility and gives you credibility when you're trying to get ranked in the search engines, basically. What they don't do anymore, don't think that you can put up a one-page website and then get on the first page of Google. It does not happen. Not anymore. It used to, but not so much now. So I would take about four or five, if I was promoting this product, I'd take four or five keywords related to this keyword here, which I'm showing you, and then I would create a, a, a website on the strength of that. So that's, that's one of your first things you've got to do. And what, what I'll show you now is I'm going to take you over to, um, let's say this, I'm going to use this main one here at the moment, Easy Member Pro. And let's say, for example, I'll even use Easy Member Pro Review. Those are the two, because I'm going to call my website Easy Member Pro Review. I decided that you must have the name in the title of the product, and that is what I've actually chosen. So I typed in Easy Member Pro when I was choosing my domain name in GoDaddy. Didn't have it there, so I did a few other words after it to see if I had the domain name. Uh, review is one I always think that people are going to type in because they're going to look look for information on the product. So I always try to keep the word review in. If that's gone, I might try another word like offer, for example, or bonus, or things like that after the actual product name. And chances are you'll find one of the names uh, afterwards with that are free and you can buy. So anyway, so let's go over to Traffic Travis now, and I'm going to show you. Uh, how I would then check if I can get on the first page of Google. All right, here we are in Traffic Travis. As I've said to you before, this is the professional version one. I pay for, paid for this version, but that you can do exactly the same tests and checks that I'm going to show you now in the free version. So as I said, head over to Traffic Travis and download that free version, and you can actually do what I'm going to show you now. Now, this is the home page, I and mean, I'm just going to show you now, this is the bit we're interested in here. The uh, search engine analysis. It's the analyze keyword uh, section I'm going to take you for now. So let's just click on that. A video opens up there that shows you how to use it. But here we go. So up here in here, it's got where it says phrase to analyze. I'm going to type in my actual phrase which I want to get ranked for. So that is Easy Member Pro, for example. Right, so once you've typed the actual keyword in there, choose your location. Because I'm in the UK and I was targeting the UK, I'm going to just click UK. Now again, I want to analyze the top results in Google. Now I'm only interested in the first 10 results, in other words, the first page. So I'm going to leave it on the first 10, and then I'm going to press analyze. Now what this tool is actually doing now, it is going out to Google, and it is actually pulling in information with regards to how these top 10 websites in Google have got ranked. In other words, it's going to show you their page rank, their age, the backlinks to the site, some other uh, authority sites that are linking into them. Has it got a few bits of on-page optimization like titles and H1 tags and various? So it's going to give us the information on the top 10 websites in Google at this moment in time to see if I can get ranked for them. So it's nearly done its job now. Now here we go. Right, so let's have a look now. The first position, obviously, is EasyMemberPro.com. That is actually the site that, that uh, owns that, that, that product. If you look down here, it's got a page rank of four. It's only a new site. Backlinks actually going to that web page is 1,826. So as you can see here, there's lots of information with regards to zero page rank sites with no authority at all, basically, on the first page of Google. And this is what you're really looking for when you are c trying to decide on a keyword where you can realistically compete with. So none of these websites have got any age to them. So that again is going for us. It's easy to get on there for having no age. The backlinks, obviously the main website there you can see has got 1,826, but the sites below it have got relatively low numbers uh, of backlinks coming in from other sites directly to that page. This information here is backlinks to the whole of their website, for example. If you just hold the mouse over the top of the uh, menu bar there, you can actually see what that actual uh, number means. So loads of relevant backlinks go into these sites individually, but we're not interested in that because it is only the pages that get ranked. As you say, this one here, for example, in position number two, is easymemberpro.com forward slash demo video. So that is a video somewhere else on that site as a, as a video page, 
and that has got itself into position number two, for example. Again, down here, DMOZ is, a, again, another authority site it's got to be listed in. You normally register your website with the company DMOZ, and it doesn't normally happen overnight. It can take three to four to five months to get um, a, a listing in DMOZ. So it's just something you should be doing because, again, a, a very big authority site. Again, looking along the line there, you've got some more things there. You've got the title, H1 tags as well. It doesn't have the uh, title, the Easy Member Pro, in the title tag, for example, or the H1 tags. But looking at this, this is this this would be a dream to get on the first page of Google, because there are so many sort of no no page ranks or very low page anything lower than the three, you got a very good chance basically. And the more of these that you can compete with, the better it is. Now, getting backlinks to a site is relatively easy. There's certain tools or services you can do to get that. You don't really want to go down the road of large automation tools that get you thousands of backlinks in one go. What you're looking for are backlinks that seem to be coming to your site on a natural basis from quite a, a wide space, not all from one place, for example, like one tool. Again, a lot of these tools have flooded the market now with regards to, oh, you can get so many thousands and thousands of backlinks going to your site instantly or within a very short space of time. But Google's algorithms are designed to spot these sort of software scripts and tools and you will get yourself harmed or blocked from using them. They used to work, but when they stopped working for the, the seasoned professionals, then they got outsourced to the general public who then take on the use of these tools as a super wonder tool and they don't work. Uh, they, they, start, they work for a little bit, but Google is caught on and then they move the goalposts again. So using them sort of tools is not the way to go really. You've got to try and get as natural looking backlinks as you can. So anyway, so yeah, I'm looking at this. So let, let me just do the other test for you here, for example. So I'm gonna put the word review on the end. So it's Easy Member Pro Review. Again, analyze the first 10 sites and do the site again. Now here we go, you can see now loads of things that I, I, I could easily get on the first page for this. So now I've shown you this in the keyword research, for example, you can see what you should be looking for and how you should be analyzing with a tool like uh, Track. There's many tools that do this sort of stuff, but it's a matter of finding the right tools which you can use and that you find easy to use. That's why I'm showing you this tool. I find this very easy to use and I have done for a while now and also the Google Keywords tool. Another one of the tools I use is uh, Micro Niche Finder, which again is a paid tool, but what I'm showing you are free tools you can use to get all the information in one place where you can make a, an informed decision on are you, are you choosing the right keywords to be able to target to really get on the first page of Google. The tools I'm showing you and the way I'm showing you here now, as you can see for this keyword, Easy Member Pro Review, if I use all the tips and techniques that I showed you in last week's uh, video, the last video I done for on-page optimization, uh, you would have, obviously, if you can look down here where it says the title tags, there's my website there, like in position three and position four. And as you can see there, I've got the ticks in the box. I've got the title tag. The title contains the phrase I entered. And the, 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 the meta description in, in, in the uh, website which I created has got it in there as well. And it's also got it in the H1 tag. So all them three ticks there, as you can see from my website, is uh, actually okay there. Now the backlinks to the page, I've got 16 backlinks. That's beaten uh, that one there, which is in number two. That's beaten that one that's in number one. There's still loads there, very, very low. And I've, not, I've only done a very small link campaign to get 16 backlinks to that. As I said, you do it over a period of time and over the, over the period of time, it will get higher and higher if you do it naturally. If, you, if I threw loads and loads of hundreds and hundreds at one go, chances are I'd never have made the first page because Google would have spotted me that I'm using some sort of automated software and I would have probably got stung and not, not reached the first page of Google. So let's just take you over to Google now. So let's say Easy Member Pro Review, which is what I was trying to get ranked for and then press search. This is in the UK, don't forget. And as you can see, as we are today, I don't know, this this changes obviously sometimes. I, uh, I was a bit lower down, I was in position two, uh, two and three or three and four. But if you can see now as I'm looking at that, my site now for the keyword which I was trying to get ranked for, very easily I've showed you how I've done it. I'm in position one there, and I'm in position two. 
with another page on that. Again, that's a, that, those are two pages off of the same website, but one is a forward slash blog post uh, page on the same website. If I just click on that one, for example, it will take it to the website which I was showing you the other day. There we go, that's the main website. Total affiliate website, as I've shown you before, about membership software blogs, and that if I click on that page, that is, uh, again, page two of that website. Doesn't have to be attractive. There's the supporting pages, for example. I've just left it with script on that one. But there's the necessary links there. There's a link there that will go right to the product. There's the banner, as I've shown you there, which will go right to the product. Uh, I've put a, a capture thing there for uh, directing traffic for a free mini course. So it's all about capturing names and driving traffic to the uh, affiliate offer which is all I'm basically interested in with these sort of sites. I'm not trying to get targeting the big keywords. I'm sticking with ones that are on low and they've got small numbers, 590 a month, 720 maybe. Small ones with less competition here. And there's a very good chance using that and the traffic traffic tool that you can get a first page listing on Google and know exactly that you're choosing the right keywords to, to actual target because of uh, this let's just go for another one here look let's I'm just gonna show you one more and how to how how to spot a web page not that you shouldn't really target so let's go for membership script or membership site and then press analyze okay so the results have come back now for the the keyword membership site and as you can see you've got some big hit in the page ranks here for example uh, page ranks four or five anything above a three really you're not going to really have a chance in competing with not straight away uh, they've got no age to them, which is quite a surprise, to be honest with you. I thought some of them would have had some more age to them, but um, look at the backlinks. I mean, there's loads and loads of backlinks here. Not so much on these. I mean, there's a page rank three. You could possibly get on that one. It's got the title tag of DMOZ and whatever, but you you probably ain't going to get in the. Not with, you won't um, you, unless your website is actually substantial and you've got a, a, a high page rank. You ain't going to change, uh, start, uh, get much of a, a chance of getting on for these keywords. You could get on the first page though. With uh, th there's one there. It's only a page rank two. There's a page rank one there, with no age, and it's quite possible over a period of uh, four to five months to get the uh, 284 backlinks. As I said, if you do it gradually, you don't try and do it all in one go. But things like this, for example, page rank five there, member wing. You are not going to get this within a short space of time. Not uh, naturally anyway, without getting banned. So th there's quite a few big numbers there, and I think the backlinks there is probably why this has got, been given a medium difficulty rating by uh, Traffic Travis. Because literally the, the, the amount of backlinks which you're going to possibly have to generate within a short space of time. Again, these are ones you have to build up, but you, you're, you're coming in with a page rank of zero probably from your website. So... And this is why I say to you, as I said before, if you create yourself a review type website, you don't have to have the product name in, in the main uh, part of the actual domain name. You can have it after the forward slash and then comes the product name. So that's why it's good to create a product. If you're going to have a review type site, over a while, Google will start ranking you as an authority site, so to speak, where you've got relevant content in your niche because it sees many pages, many pages with relevant keywords and you'll start to get your site actually created and ranked for a better page rank. And that means that you'll throw more weight because you can just use the product name after the forward slash for its own dedicated page. And then you just basically target that keyword for that given page. So membership site, I wouldn't bother trying to use that keyword. Uh, as you can see, there's too much there for me to worry about at the moment. I'm happy with the little ones that I've got. Well, I hope that's been informative to you. As I said, get, get Traffic Travis. It's free. I use the professional version. All what I've shown you is totally free in uh, the version which you can download for nothing. And use that in conjunction with the Google Keyword Tool and create your affiliate websites like this. Anyway, thanks very much and I hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you.